uh, I would say have been Kevin Lewis, who told me when I wrote my first letter back to a complaining patient that I was absolutely right about everything that I was feeling, but that I ought to just put a stamp on it and post it in the bin. And it taught me that actually being successful in dentistry was all about thinking about things from the patient's perspective. And I think that's less than stayed with me from 23 to the age I am now, which of course I'm not going to tell you. If you are going to do dentistry now, I think it's still one of the best professions in the world. We've got 60 million people in this country who have teeth, who need to be looked after. You've got independence, you've got wonderful, caring people who come and work in the dental profession with you. And it's one of the few professions in which you get to meet new people every single day. And the networks in dentistry are fantastic. The wackiest thing that happened to me uh, was when I was running late once and a really cool patient came in and I was flustered and apologising for being late and he said to me, better late than never, but never late is better. Um, and I used that at the end of all of our waiting times audits. My favourite manifesto habit is be confident. If you're not confident about yourself, then it's very difficult to inspire confidence in your team and it's very difficult to inspire confidence in our patients. So be confident and that's the one thing that will take you through the difficult times that we're facing at the moment.